Hi, this is Dr. Paul Gerhardt from Pierce College Business Department. I'm the uh, department coordinator for uh, business management and marketing here at Pierce College. I'm a full-time professor and I've been teaching for uh, just over 11 years and I teach both online and on the ground and you are enrolled in my favorite course. Um, this course is an organizational behaviors course and it really is designed to help students who take the class have a better understanding of why we do what we do. Uh, this is a course that students tell me over and over again uh, has helped them uh, have better relationships at work and at home and as you're going to find from uh, reading the textbook that uh, everything is based on relationships. So 95% of your career success will come from how well uh, you can apply the materials that you you should be learning in this course. So let's talk about the course a little bit. Uh, if you know me, you know that I believe that learning is an active process. It's not just something that you uh, can fake but it's something that you need to be personally engaged in. So what that means for you is you're going to need to read and study every single chapter and if you want to master the content of the course uh, you're going to want to read the chapters more than once. So to help you I've uh, uploaded the uh, publishers PowerPoint for each of the chapters uh, to help you get another understanding of it. Uh, here's what the course is all about. So one, carefully read all 20 pages of the syllabus. Uh, read it front to back, print it out, and look at it. If you want to be successful in the course, you're being uh, held accountable for what's in the syllabus, so you might as well read it and understand it. If you have questions after reading it, contact me. Send me an email. Any email that you send to me, uh, CC yourself. Uh, my email address is on the front cover of the uh, uh, syllabus and I will get back to you. I want to answer your questions and usually I'll get back to you within 24 hours so uh, unless it's on the weekend then I'll get back to you on Monday sometimes. So uh, class starts on Sunday and ends uh, on Saturday at midnight. So starts on on Sunday at midnight and ends at 11.59 to be more specific each week. You'll notice that the Angel course room is set up by weeks and I don't accept late work. So quizzes are always due on or before midnight at Saturday. Waiting till the last minute to take a quiz may mean that you miss your opportunity to gain the points from that quiz. There will be a quiz, a 10 point quiz, on every single chapter in the book. You will not get an A on those chapters, uh, quizzes, unless you really understand the question. And so um, you can argue with me to death on the quiz answers, but they are what they are. I'm only accepting the one right answer, and it's the best answer from the textbook. And so you only get one shot to take quizzes. Uh, the quizzes are due on Saturday, as I've mentioned. I would take them early, study the chapters early. The quizzes are actually in place so that uh, they'll help you understand whether or not you're understanding the material from the class. If you think you're understanding and you're not doing well in the quizzes, uh, then you're not doing well in the, on understanding uh, the chapters. And so I've pulled things from a lot of different areas, front, middle, and back of each chapter, and put them into the quizzes. So take some time. The quizzes are timed. And when you're out of time, you're out of time. So you get the score that you earn from the quizzes. Uh, there is a 10 points per quiz and there are multiple choice true and false answers. So also there is a final in the final week of the course. Uh, I would be taking notes throughout the whole chapter because you'll have a timed final exam and it'll be 100 points. So 150 points for discussion or for 150 points will be there for your quizzes a hundred points for your final exam, a hundred points for something called a personal change model, and if you're taking good notes along the way, the personal change model, which I'll introduce towards the end of the class, will be a large written document. 
showing understanding. It's basically based on the course outcomes. So if you're answering the questions of the course outcomes as you go along, you should do pretty well on the, on the uh, personal change model. So something that's kind of confusing uh, to some people is we're doing two chapters pretty much every week. And so I would go ahead and start reading the chapters, taking good notes, and then your discussion answers are due for two chapters, unless I say otherwise, each week. Those discussion answers are due on Wednesday, both of them, each week. So for instance, uh, in week one, you'll have chapter one and chapter two discussion answers. Those discussion answers are also called in the syllabus human relation articles. So essentially, it, when you're taking this class, pretend like you're teaching people through your writing what you've understood. You need to make sure you're answering each discussion question with at least 250 words. You can have more in your own words. You're not copying and pasting from another source, but in your own words, answers to the questions related to each chapter. For instance, discussion question one, you will write at least 250 words about your understanding to the answers for chapter one. So discussion question one is your discussion uh, human relations article that you will write. Chapter two, you'll read chapter two and you'll answer the questions to your discussion question in discussion question number two. So chapter two, discussion question chapter two, discussion chapter uh, two, answer is your human relations article. So human relations article number two is based on chapter two, your understanding, you're answering the questions thoroughly, I'm not in your head when I'm grading. I'm grading based on you showing me you understand the concepts of chapter two. So after you've answered both discussion questions on Wednesday, no later than Wednesday if you want to be eligible for full points, then before Saturday I need you to read everybody's postings, their discussion articles that they have written, and then reply back to two. Once you've replied back to two of your peers for each discussion question, you become eligible for uh, full 10 points. So 10 points per discussion question, five will be on how well you answered the question, five will be on how well you have posted peer replies to two students per discussion question. So it's pretty, it's, I think it's pretty easy concept. So show me you're engaged in the course, that you're learning from the textbook and you're, you're helping your peers understand how you've applied certain concepts from the chapters. It really is about the learning. So uh, help make this an interesting class through your uh, participation. So there's PowerPoints in, in there that you can review to help you understand the material. Uh, view those early. Uh, after Saturday at midnight, I'm closing the folders. So you will not have any opportunity after midnight to post a peer response or to take the quizzes. That's it. I don't accept late work for the quarter, so please schedule time for success. You'll notice that there's an assignment for week zero. It's only five points for week zero. And then when we get into the regular quarter, uh, you'll read the two chapters, you'll watch the PowerPoint, you'll answer the discussion questions which are your uh, human relations articles, and then you'll reply back for every discussion question after reading everybody's peer uh, articles. Uh, you'll reply back in a way that adds value. Look forward to working with you. Uh, contact me via email. I'm full-time here at Pierce College, and I would love for you to have a great experience in the class. Thanks so much for being here. I look forward to working with you.